Former Fate City Council member and now mayoral candidate Lauren Megacy says Mayor Bill Broderick and other incumbent council members must be voted out in the May 10th city election because they have no code of ethics, are appointing people to positions who are not qualified, not listening to citizens with complaints, and mismanaging city finances. He says he resigned from his council position last year because the incumbents refused to place his items on the meeting agendas, and he was consequently unable to get anything done for city residents. He is now calling for a new code of ethics to guide council members' actions in the future. I, last year, I won my election, was appointed in, in May. My first council was June 3rd, and I thought I could get on there and make a difference and go out there and, and be able to put something on the agenda to make... Uh, the council and the city the better place there. Well, I, I found out that in order to get anything on that council, on the council agenda, um, Bill and Sherry were the ones that, that drive that, and if they didn't approve it, then nothing would get on that council. I wanted to put in some code of ethics. I wanted to put in some things in there that would help make the city better. Could never get anything on there because they would always deny it and say, no, you couldn't put it on there. But Sherry Garber was able to, Councilman Garber, was able to put four items on one agenda. Um, so to me, that pattern happened month after month after month, and I got to the point where there was nothing I could even say or do to be effective on there. It was always outvoted. When things were, were there, I finally got fed up and said, there's, there's no way I can make, a, make any difference on this council here because everything was being rubber stamped by all the other council members. So that is one of the reasons why I resigned off of there. And then when I resigned, um, I knew that they had to have a 30-day period in order to appoint somebody. Well, the way that this council works is they will drag it out and drag it out and, and until they can find someone that they can handpick and appoint to that spot. And they handpicked Christy Schnell to put on there. Yeah, one of my main concerns with the City Hall is um, they're about to spend at least six million dollars is what's been budgeted and they're going to be taking out a debt loan on that through a bond package. But instead of doing that, they're taking money that we already had in a CIP project last year to fix, um, to put in a, uh, a park for, on the south side, they had um, to fix the drainage systems over in Melanie Ranch. They had funds assigned to that, and then they took those funds there and they reallocated them back to the city hall because they don't have the money that they need for that city hall. So to me, taking those funds and reallocating them for something that should be affecting what the citizen's gonna be living in. I mean, there, if you go over to Melanie Ranch there, there's sewer, or the water problems, the drainage problems are very bad, and uh, that needs to be fixed. You, but you're gonna take that money, you're gonna spend it on a city hall. That Can we afford it right now? No, do we need one? Yes, but eventually, when the funds are there, then we can do that. But right now, you need to get some infrastructure fixed, you gotta get some drainage fixed, you gotta get a park in on the south side. There's no park over there for the kids to play in. They gotta go to the school in order to do that. So taking all those funds, um, away from something that's going to affect a citizen of fate and moving it over into the city hall, to me that's totally wrong. One of the other concerns that I've got is, is the ethics on the city council. They're doing some things on there that are totally um, not right. I mean, they, they're appointing people that is a rubber stamp to them. They've got no um, form of ethics on there. No one holds any of them accountable. If you sit up there and you got a three minute talk that you can do during the council meetings um, and you start complaining about it, they won't even listen to you. They won't even acknowledge you. So getting out there and getting people aware that this is your city council that you're, you elected as a citizen and that you should have the right to be able to go up to them and talk to them about anything. Because you elected them, they need to be responsible for you. I mean, you're the ones that put them in office there. They've got the, an entitlement mentality on there right now where they're out there and they're thinking they can do anything that they want. No one's really interested in what's going on in the politics in the city and, and, and that's been going on for years. Well, people are starting to wake up. People are starting to understand and know that, no, this is my city and that we can take control back from what these guys are trying to do. They're getting our debt load up there. They're, they're doing a lot of bad things with appointments to the city council. Um, it's. To me, the ethics on there, and that's one of the first things that I would love to see on there, is to be able to put on a, a code of ethics that every board member, every council member would have to sign before they even take office. Um, because that way you're proven to the citizens that we do have ethics on there, 
because you're going to have to be rebuild all the trust back to the citizens. Because right now they don't trust this this current government. So in order to do that, you got to put on there and show them and show the citizens that yes, ethics are important and that we're going to live by some sort of a code that says if you're not going to follow that, then you don't need to be on that council. One of the biggest things that hurts me the most is what they did to a couple of good employees of the city, Philip Rodriguez and Justin Wise. Those were two awesome employees. And what they did to them in forcing Philip out and forcing Justin out, I mean, Justin couldn't, I can see why he left. And, and to me, that is, is totally wrong. They were great employees and great people for the city of fate. And it saddens me what they did to them. This is J.J. Smith with the Rockwall News.